Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Thanksgiving. Now, I am not the biggest fan of Thanksgiving when it comes to food. I love the whole Thanksgiving factor, being thankful and getting together with family members and getting to spend time with family members, but food-wise, I'm not the biggest fan and I haven't ever really been the biggest fan, especially when it comes to turkey. Obviously now I'm, I don't like turkey, but even as a child, I never ever liked turkey. I would only like Thanksgiving and I'd only go to the parties so I could have the pie. So today I have some vegan cherry pie from Whole Foods. I'm so excited for this and I also have some some homemade mac and cheese. I'm recipe testing. I put some homemade vegan Parmesan cheese on top as well. And I'm just gonna start eating because I really, really wanna see how this turned out. It's still so warm. Can you just see that? Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm so thankful. This mac and cheese. I loved mac and cheese when I was a kid. If you gave this to me, as a kid, I'd eat this whole bowl in one sitting, especially with the vegan parm on top. I have some store-bought vegan parm that I put on top and then also some homemade. That's what the crumbly stuff is. And then the store-bought is the white looking stuff. And it's still so warm. I think I already said that, but it's steaming. So for this video, I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out what I wanted to talk about. So I was talking to my mom about it and I told her that I had this idea to talk about stupid things I have done in my life. And then I said that I didn't really want to do that for this video because, you know, it's Thanksgiving. We don't want to talk about bad things that I've done. But then she brought up the point that I could say... I'm thankful that these stupid things I've done are over and I'm thankful that nothing worse occurred after and I thought that was a pretty good idea especially because now you guys can be thankful with me that you're not as stupid as I am. This is so good. I'm a genius. Just kidding. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I did in China. So in China, we lived in apartment buildings and these apartment buildings were in complexes. And in these complexes, there were ponds in every single complex that we had lived in. They were pretty big ponds and they were pretty disgusting. I don't know how much they got cleaned. It's very humid there, so that didn't help. Anyway, because we lived in an apartment, we didn't have a pool necessarily. So my siblings and I, we thought, oh, let's just go swim in the ponds because that's real ethical, you know? It's so gross. I don't know how we haven't died yet because they were so dirty. I just thought I would add that in there because it's pretty stupid to go swimming in a pond. We had a lot of free time in China because we were homeschooled, so we were out every single day. And so I guarantee you, we were in the ponds every other day, if not every day. So I don't know how we're not dead, but The next story is also in China. Like I said, we lived in apartment buildings and these apartment buildings had balconies and one of the balconies had a sink and I'm not exactly sure what it was for. I'm assuming it was for laundry because it was very common for people to do their laundry on the balcony and to like dry it out there as well. So I'm assuming that's what it's for, but um, my brother and I had other ideas. <laughs> So 
So I don't know if you've seen those long bubble tubes that you have bubbles in that you can give to kids. We had those and they were already empty and so we were using them and we would fill them up and then we'd look over the edge and every time a person would come, we would drop the water. Okay, first of all, this is very bad, especially because we were on the 19th floor. This could be a potential very much dangerous for people. Please don't do this. So we dropped the water on people and every time they would freak out, obviously, because they're like, oh, did I just get pooped on by a bird? They'd look up and every time we would duck behind the balcony. I don't know how we didn't get in trouble. We learned our lesson when one of the times we dropped water on a guy and um, he turned out to be a security guard. So lesson learned, we never did that again. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this pie. Don't get mad at me for using a spoon, okay? That's just, I feel like it just makes it taste better. I feel like I can get more food on my spoon. So don't judge me for eating the pie with my spoon, okay? Oh my goodness, there's like a whole cherry. It's really pink. Mmm. The crust! They always nail the vegan crusts. The cherry flavor, it's sour. It's not super sweet, but it's good because it kind of balances out with the sugary crust and the sugar granules on top of the pie. Mmm. Heck yes. My dad would love this. He loves fruit pies. Mm -hmm. I was really nervous they weren't going to have their vegan cherry pie. Because they had a vegan apple last time I went. And they also have a vegan blueberry, which I kind of want to get too because I haven't had it. But I wa really wanted the cherry because I feel like cherry is like the most generic kind of pie you can get. So I really wanted to get their cherry pie. I was really nervous because the past couple of times I went to Whole Foods, they didn't have blueberry or cherry. And so I wasn't expecting them to have it today. But when I got there, they had both and they had, oh, they had this one. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Okay, so the next thing, I feel like everyone has done it. So my friends and I always like to sneak food into the theater. It's a pretty common thing. A lot of people have done it and it's kind of stupid. I mean, it's not terribly stupid, but like, you know, you're not really supposed to, so. But there was one time I was with one of my friends and this was before I was vegan. We went to McDonald's. She got a burger. I got fries. Oh, we also had gone to the store too. And she got a bag of chips and a bag of popcorn and then some other smaller snacks. She was wearing sweatpants. These sweatpants were already pretty baggy. So she <laughs> literally put the popcorn in one leg and the chips in the other leg and it looked normal. It was so funny. And then we just shoved the other goods in our pockets and stuff. I was wearing a pretty big hoodie and so she thought it was a good idea to put the fries and burger in my hood. <laughs> Nothing bad happened, but we made it inside successfully and we ate our McDonald's while watching a movie in the theater. Fun times. And then this is just my hydro with water in it. So the next thing, I still, to this day, have no clue what I was doing with my life. I don't know what I was doing. My cousins were over at my house. This is here in the US. And I don't know what we were doing. It was super late and we were outside. I don't know if we were stargazing or what we were doing. But... 
don't even know why I decided to do this. I don't know what the heck I was doing. Basically, I started running down the street barefoot in my pajamas. No explanation, I don't know. But then I stopped because I saw a police car. Mind you, it was 12 a.m. midnight, and so I was like, okay. And so I turned around and started walking back home, casual, like nothing happened. And he ended up slowing down and rolling his window down. And he said, what are you doing out so late? What are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm just going on a walk. Girl in her pajamas, barefoot, probably 13 years old, going on a walk at midnight? What? I don't know. Anyway, so I don't remember exactly what happened after that. I know that I escaped or something because I remember I went home and then a few minutes after I got home, my dad comes to me and he said, What were you doing outside? A police officer just came to the door and was asking me questions. And I was so scared. I was like, am I going to die? Am I going to go to jail? Of course, me being the innocent little child that it was. I actually think that there were like two parties going on that night though because they he got a couple of noise complaints. That's what... He told my dad and I did hear the parties going on. So I'm assuming the police officer probably thought I was part of that, you know. Mm. The crust is so flaky, but so soft. It's cooked perfectly. Okay, so this next story, me and my best friend, Rachel. If you don't know who Rachel is, she's been on my channel multiple times, but she is my best friend. So Rachel's family likes to keep soda in stock. And I don't know about any more, but they used to have a very large stock of soda cans so rachel and i would go to the fridge take one of our biggest backpacks and fill it up with soda there's a park in the neighborhood where we live and so we'd go to this park and we would make sticky bombs basically we'd shake up the cans and throw them on the ground and they would explode very classy and i remember a couple of times when the soda cans broke open some of them wouldn't like fully explode they would just start spraying and so <laughs> i remember like i would pick it up for example and then i would hold it so it was shooting into her mouth and so we had like soda fountains it was really fun This next stupid thing that I did is also with Rachel. You know, Rachel and I were just partners in crime, so that's why. We used to be huge skateboarders, so we would skateboard every single day, basically. So Thursdays are garbage days for us. That's when garbage comes, trash pickup. And so Wednesday night, that's when everyone in our neighborhood will put out their trash. And so that is when we liked to go skateboarding. And the reason for this is so we could go through people's trash. Not like literally like trash dumpster diving type stuff. We would go through the bulk stuff. We wouldn't actually like go through people's trash. That's kind of gross. For example, we would find rugs and things like that and we would put them on our skateboard. I don't know what we were thinking, but it was fun at the time. I remember one time. We found a rug, we put it on our skateboards, and we knew this one kid, and we freaking took it to his house and put it on his porch, and then left. Okay, Merry Christmas. A well-used rug for you. I don't know, guys. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, the topping on this, I should have brought, like, extra or something to put it on throughout. It's so good. So this next stupid thing I did was with an older friend of mine. We were hanging out and we were super bored. And so we were trying to think of something to do. And kind of jokingly, I said, let's go trick or treating. Well, a few minutes later, wasn't a joke no more. <laughs> 
We legit dressed up, went outside, and started trick-or-treating. Why? I don't understand. Well, okay, I understand. Because we were kids, so obviously we're gonna find something stupid to do. But I remember there was this one lady. We actually got candy. Not a lot, but there was this one lady who gave us, like, gourmet goods. It was crazy. We got, like, a brownie, I think a cake pop. It was really funny. Then we got, like, mini Reese's cups. This is, like, before I was vegan as well. Mini Reese's cups and stuff like that. And, yeah. But, guys, if it is summer, please wait until Halloween to go trick-or-treating. Don't go in the middle of summer. For the sake of you, your pride, and for the sake of your neighbors, just wait till Halloween. <laughs> Okay, so the next one. I'm actually embarrassed, very embarrassed by this one. This was probably my sophomore year of high school. I'm pretty sure. I was with Rachel again. <laughs> Her mom had picked us up from school and we were on the way home and I saw this kid walking and I was like, and I was like, hey, that looks like my crush. We'll call him Aiden. And it was, it was Aiden. I told Rachel, which I really shouldn't have because then her and her mom ganged up on me and did not listen to all of my pleas for them to not follow him home but they did <laughs> this poor kid he knew we were following him like he found out at one point he didn't know it was me but he kept looking back at our car and he kept seeing it so i guarantee you he knew that we were following him i feel so bad he i don't think he still doesn't know it was me to this day but love that And I wasn't doing it voluntarily, guys, okay? I'm not that creepy. Sometimes. But anyways, get yourself a best friend who will stalk guys for you. Love you, Rachel. Seriously, though, I love her to death. Like, she is my everything. I love her so much. Mmm. I want to say these are maraschino cherries, but I think it's just the sweetness of the jam that's with it or the jelly or whatever that's in it with it. I can't tell. Because the texture isn't like a maraschino cherry, which are vegan by the way. It doesn't look like one either. They kind of look they have a weird color, but they're good. This crust though, like honestly, I just eat this crust by itself. I don't know if you can see how flaky that is, but that's gorgeous. Mm -mm. Okay, so I think this is going to be my last story because it's quite a long one. <laughs> I say best for last, y'all. So... I have a pretty crazy birthday party experience. So I love birthday parties, or at least I used to. <laughs> Nothing happened, I just, I'm not, not as much of a partier as I used to be, but I would always love to throw like the best birthday parties. In my 16th birthday, I was pretty successful. I'm not gonna talk about everything that happened that night because there was no drinking and no drugs or anything like that involved, which is why I'm still baffled that we did all that we did. But I'm not gonna tell you everything because there's so much and um, I would ex I'm gonna explode from eating too much if I tell you that whole story. So let me know if you want a, a crazy party story time because I will gladly do a video on that because this party was ridiculous. At the end of the night, we ended up in 
Walmart, but getting kicked out of Walmart, we were using my friend's really small car to drive around. It was a five seat car, but we took, I think, seven people with us. Maybe eight. Because we shoved two people in the trunk of the car. Mind you, the Walmart we went to, you had to take the freeway to get there. And we did that all the way back. We were even planning on going to like a haunted park afterward too. There's a haunted park here. It's supposedly haunted. I've been dying to go there. I still haven't even gone there. We were going to go there, but then mom was like, Where are you? It's getting late. So I had to go home. Um... There was a kid who came to that party who I normally never hung out with, but my friend who was there was also friends with him, and she told him that he, she was at my party. And he's like, oh, I want to come, and so he came to that party. And after that party, like, he said, next time you have a party, please call me because you have the best parties. It made me feel really good about myself, though. Like, I was really happy that he came. He was pretty cool, too. Like, we, we got along really well. But... Unfortunately, I did not have a very good 18th birthday party. That was probably my worst birthday ever. If you want a story time on that, let me know. I have lots of videos planned for you guys. Oh my gosh, this recipe is amazing. I'm so proud of myself. I mean, do you hear that? ASMR. Sorry guys, I wouldn't do that anymore. So good. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna take a few more bites of the pie and then I'm gonna call it a night because I am getting really full. I low key just want the rest of the crust. Hmm. It's so flaky and sweet, but it's like not too sweet. I don't know how to explain it, guys, but it's so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, last bite. Let's make it a good one. Last bite. Alright guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed hearing stupid things that I've done in my life. There are plenty more, but those were the ones that I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, and I hope that you enjoy spending time with your family and enjoy eating some good vegan eats. And even if you're not vegan, just enjoy some yummy Thanksgiving food. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and comment down below if you want to see those other two story times, the worst birthday party and the craziest birthday party ever. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!